Binance Apex Crypto and DeFi. So today we're going to go over how to get your funds that are stuck on the exchange in stable fund out. All right, so this is the problem I've seen a lot of people having and asking questions. Either they can't get it done themselves, they're running their problems, or they're just not competent enough to do it themselves. So today I'm going to walk you all through that. All right, this happened to me yesterday. It took me a little bit, but I finally figured out how to do it. All right, so first thing you want to do to see what's going on with your transaction. You're going to want to come up here to wallet. You're going to want to come to deposit. You're going to want to click Ethereum and copy your wallet address. All right. So then you want to come back to exchange, find your transaction, click this button, click router, paste your wallet address here. It's going to show you all your transactions from that particular wallet. All right. So it its status will say pending if it is stuck on chain in USDC. All right, from this point, you're going to click here. And you see how this says USDC uh, coin. So that means it's stuck on chain as USDC, or it was. I manually completed the transaction, though. All right, so we're going to come back to stable fund. We are going to scroll all the way at the bottom. We're going to go to settings. This right here is your private key. You're going to copy this key, this whole thing. Of course, click uh, the C button, but not when anyone can see you and on telegram be careful none of the admins will message you no matter what their name is if they're messaging you calling you they're fake and they they're trying to get your private key so uh try to avoid getting scammed all right but anyway copy that download metamask open your metamask all right when you open MetaMask, you're going to want to make a new account. You're going to come over here at this very top right corner. You're going to click Import Wallet. At this point, you're going to paste your private key, and you're going to click Import. All right. You're going to also want to add the Polygon mainnet to, um, to MetaMask. Mine manually or automatically added it when I added my wallet. I'm not sure if it was the transaction itself, but it got added that way. So once you do that, you're going to want to come down here to import tokens. You're going to also want to come over here to uh, Polygon Scan, USDC. You're going to want to get this contract. Copy that address. I'm going to come over here to MetaMask. Import tokens. You don't want to paste this address here. All right. Well, usually when you paste it, since I've already have it added, all this stuff's going to autofill for you and you just add it. And then you're going to be able to see your amount of USDC and you can swap it, trade it, or whatever you feel like you're free at that point. So. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Stay away from the Telegram bots, man. <laughs>